Welcome back, heathens. This is part three of Firewatch. Let's just get right into it already. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day nine. All right, let's get to it. Ooh. That sounds good right Hello, now. Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Mm-hmm. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. <gasps> no. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh my god, that is bad news bears. Because the last thing they did is write a really terrible note to, to us, so... That's ooh. you should tell who I make us look really bad questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... one stereo. That's it. Look, it's not oh my be an God. Issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Oh, no, that's even worse. Uh, I. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I'll try with that in mind. Oh, God. Day 15? Oh, my God. This goes from day 4 to day 15. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh, I thought somebody broke in again. I got scared. <laughs> Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yeah, what, 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 what? What happened? What? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, here we go. Is she drunk again? Uh... Babe, it's late! Babe, it's late. <laughs> I know it is. You sound tired. Stop. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? <gasps> Wait, what the fuck? I just realized... It's Julia. Henry? Are you having a nice time? Yeah. It's good Ooh. here. It's beautiful, you know? I thought it was Delilah putting on an accent. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. Oh my god. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. No, stop. Mm -hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Oh my god, he's losing his mind. I'm in like... I'm in shock. I was not expecting that at all. I was gonna... I was saying... I wanted to say the babe thing because I thought it was just gonna be funny with Delilah. And that kind of backfired. <laughs> Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring oh supplies God. all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yes, very. Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Oh, you know, my that's sister nice. eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. I mean, that would be a, an amazing time. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna go so, deep into that. I don't wanna get in trouble. Like, <laughs> two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Ooh. I just thought it was so sweet. 
I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Oh, God. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. What? So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Wow. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, well, damn, thank you, Ju uh, Julia. Oh my god, thank you, Delilah, for coming clean, I guess. You didn't need to say all that, all right. but... I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. She feels better Just than... Yours, right. right. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Just yours. She thinks we only got our supplies to dip. We're not like that. We're caring to our fellow co-workers, okay. What? Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Uh... No? I mean, I don't, uh, I'm hungry. So, you did. I gotta go. No way. What? <laughs> wow, it's really speeding through all these days. What about the two girls? I'm concerned. <gasps> you got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. Wow. I'm call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, how about the big fire? Maybe the flapjack fire? What about Delilah? So, That's crazy. No ideas, huh? Let's do Delilah. Let's see uh, what she Delilah's says. Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. That okay, has a nice well, ring then. to it, though. Mm, how about my middle name, June? <clears throat> the June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. The June Fire it is. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Uh, swim? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, pretty smart. on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make <laughs> her margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'd like a margarita. <laughs> if I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, yes. I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. It is a... It is a pretty sight. Yeah. Oh, are they like... Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 
I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Ooh. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Ooh. I wish you were too. <laughs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... What? What? What could we do? Are we better? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. What? Oh my god, no way they did that over the radio. That's crazy. I'd be so nervous about, like, somebody going onto our channel. And <laughs> You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, <laughs> and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Yes, sir. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Search the lakeside for bear traps. Or bear tracks. I'm stupid. Okay, so I'm just going straight. I do remember this area. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. What is this? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's Ooh. something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Oh that my god. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Oh. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. No, stop. Henry. I'm my, worried. My body just had like You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun. I feel like I also, just got tased. You know, devastating. Oh my god. Regardless, just let me know. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, Henry? my biggest fear just came Are true. You there? Oh my god. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched uh. something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Fuck. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... Hell no, what I'm going, going nope. on. What's mm -mm 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 -mm. Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? I'm going back. Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, uh, it's on our maps. It's not too far no, from where you I are right now. No, I don't want to explore. It's I wouldn't mind my business it, and go back to my like lookout. There should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that right now. <laughs> damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Shut up. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. A very and shitty prank. feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but... That conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So uh huh. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Mm hmm. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're freaking me out. I can't do this. You're probably already on your way. Be safe. Old sweater. Uh, Ron, got me some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos, Amigos is Spanish and Professionals is Italian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh... There's some shit going down, Wapiti. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, I'm so nervous just getting onto my, uh... Getting onto my, uh... uh the, 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 using my damn map. Is there a trail up here? Okay, so straight and then left. Oh. I guess we're going down here. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright. Oh my god, I can't. I can't with this game right now. Oh, as soon as I heard that noise behind us, oh my god. My whole body. It felt like I just got tased with the tingles that went through like my arms, my legs, and everything. It was just, ugh. The chills running up my neck. I, I had a feeling that somebody was behind me, more than usual, because I know I've been, like, jumpy throughout this whole series, but that was, like, a different kind of sound that just, like, scared the hell out of me. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big oh. chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Wait, what the fuck is oh. going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but <gasps> what if that's I... only a few square feet usually. Yeah. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, it didn't I've work? tried to get in here before. No dice. <sighs> Shit. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. Should we try it again? I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Oh. Use rock. Okay, that didn't work again. So, let's see what do we got? <laughs> I just can't get in. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't Wait. know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Oh. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Yep. Hey, actually, those guys doing the control burn, they might be able to help. Where are okay, they? Okay, bet. Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Let's see, gate, Wabity Station, okay, Wabity Meadow. Huh? I'm so far! Shut up! Freaking me out. Sounds like somebody's laughing at me. <laughs> As I said that, I hear ee -ee. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting stuck. Okay, we'll go through. Should be right here. I'm getting better at navigating this place, at least. I was getting so lost when we first started, it was ridiculous. Even in the second, um,. In the second video, I had to make so many jump cuts because I was just spinning in circles trying to find my way. What? Oh. I will never... I'll never not get scared of the music. That is just... Mm. Just go straight for a little bit longer. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it Wait. looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Oh. Just to make sure. This is gonna go that way. We want to go left. Huh? Oh, you guys see? Look at me. I can navigate the map now. 
Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Uh. Should we call the cops or the forest Glitching? service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Oh, God. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked <clears throat> and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. She's in on this. There's I no really way. I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Dude, she... Oh, she sounds like she's in on this. It does not make me feel comfortable at all. Hey, what well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Oh god, I went off track a little bit. I don't want to go somewhere different. Failing uh. me, following me around, like working with other people. Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone <laughs> is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I, I, I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. I, I can't. I can't shake the feeling that she's not in on this because she's like, she's a little too calm. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I... dude... <sighs> he had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hmm. <clears throat> feel so good about Delilah right now. Whoops. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Oh, <laughs> it's it. right here. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Hey, I found a pair of old totaled snowmobiles out here. It looks like someone stripped them of a bunch of parts. Huh. I and mean, that's oh. weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Just making sure I don't have to pick up anything from this. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Okay, let's just keep going down this way. We're making our way slowly towards where they are. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, man. This is really, this is really bothering me. She just seems too calm about this. Wait, wait, thumbnail. <clears throat> <laughs> Gotta do YouTuber things real quick. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Hmm. 
Oh, long drop down. Look at that. Wait, I don't even have to do the drop either. Just go this way. Duh. Wait. Wait a minute. You know what? Let's just do that. It's fine. gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop-offs, but here I am. Snap. Yeah, well, we've all got our limits, Henry. Give my map. Okay, so it's just around here somewhere. Let me keep going down this little trail over here. Would you look at that? I found it. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what oh. I can find. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> You ever talked to any of the scouts? Oh, no, look at that. I've been out here in a while, and I you know, generally I... don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Hmm. What is this? Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery... Okay, wait, let's let's read it ourselves so we know what they're talking about. Squad Boss Grant Carson, 71089, Wyoming Intrigency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Ranger, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Squad Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with the wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak to with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in p protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks, as always, for your service. Rich Slosarenko, Assistant Superintendent. Repercolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I'm wondering... I'm wondering as well. Oh, us? I mean, yes. Very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... You think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. That sounds like interesting else, research. What they do. Yeah, that's what I think. I think we should allow for the possibility that what? this is all what? just a big misunderstanding, but God, if you saw what you said you did. Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Stop. Stop. Why'd you... Uh, why'd you gotta say that? Uh, she's making me more paranoid. Stop. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? I'm not gonna... On my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Stop. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. No. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Okay. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, 
There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm so glad it pulled me out because I was not about to walk all the way back by myself. <sighs> God. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. <sighs> Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. No. Hello, sunshine. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. She's alive. <laughs> uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry. We have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Stop. She sounds Let's delirious. Talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Wait. Just, you know, have a look at it. Okay. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why is she about to speak like this? to me through trees? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. Yes. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. she's well, maybe smart. Maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Okay. She's so smart. Did she give us a new radio? I'm hoping she gave us a new radio so that way we could, like, talk. Cottonwood Creek. Oh my god, it's south again. Is, is that south? That is south, okay. South. Right? Yeah, okay. She is so smart. Okay. Before, I was feeling a little on edge. I was like, oh no, she's into this. Like, or she's into this. <laughs> she's in on this. I know she's a part of what's going on. But if she got us a new radio, I feel like... If she got us a new radio, I feel a little bit safer. I, I feel like that's- it's not her- Wait. Am I going the wrong way? Wait, where's it again? Oh, okay. I- I feel like she's actually on our side. Because otherwise, why would she help, right? Unless... She gets us a radio where they're also tapped in too. Oh, heck no. I could go in circles about how I think she's like- She's a part of this plan, but I don't want to do that because I like Delilah. I really like Delilah. Don't do this to me, Delilah. Don't break my heart in this forest. I'm going to drive a man mad. Uh. South. I hate that noise. I hate that noise that's going on behind me. And, mm, stop it. That's actually so creepy. Like, I... Uh, I had no reason to be paranoid at the beginning of the game, but I had a feeling the isolation was gonna get to him at some point, and he's gonna start getting paranoid, because, like, you're in the forest by yourself. And they were talking about people who went mad before doing this job. But maybe they're not so crazy after all, and whatever's happening to Henry right now was happening to them, but they just said, oh, you're crazy. Like, there's nobody else out here, you know? Those poor people. Nobody believed them. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. No, why would you- you see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. 
It's five, oh. six, seven, eight. Are you kidding me? Uh. I was in a rush. Three blind rats. New radio. Don't throw that one in. I was gonna say keep it just in case. I got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Damn, okay. You were in on this? Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Uh. Tell me everything right now. All of it. You know what's going on, and you're going to tell me right this minute. That might have been a wrong choice. Why would you think I know what the hell is going on? I, I, I snuck out in the middle of the night and figured out how to get you a new untapped radio because, because what, I'm fucking with you? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The most important thing, Henry, is that we don't turn on each other. Maybe, okay, but that was a bad choice. You're not real. Maybe I'm losing my mind. What? Julia. Maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and... and you, I'm a little distracted, huh? Delilah, you're not real. Henry. Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry. Sweetie, I am real, and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second, and then call me back. I'm on your side. That's what they all say. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Stop. What? What is it? filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, God. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, You're losing those your girls job. Are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh my God. Why would she do that? Oh. It's kind of stressing me out. It's kind of stressing me out that like. I just wish you could help in some way. Like, get out of your damn tower. Meet me halfway somewhere. Let's have a conversation type thing, you know? Like, let's figure this shit out together. Also, if I were Henry, I'd be like, please let me come over. Not because of that, but you know what I mean? Like, I'd be too paranoid to be by myself. I'd be way too paranoid to be by myself. Over here. Alright, whoever's in here, I'm about to mess you up. I'm gonna mess you the hell up. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Oh no, not the bee! Let's read this. <clears throat> Wabity Station personnel. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to Augur Augur October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Johnson? There's no N. Johnson? Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Stop with the music. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Yeah. yeah. It's very important. Did it hurt? Yes. Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm, I'm sorry. What? You're not gonna show any... You don't care, do you? Oh. Okay, let the 
sight. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. Lucky Indeed, for me. Serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20 foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Can I destroy this? That'd be great. Oh my god, there's more stuff. No way. Oh. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, so like... Here, listen, hear me out, hear me out, okay. I don't want to go in this tent because there's only one way in, one way out. So that means if I go in, there's so somebody can come in from behind and knock me the fuck out, okay? I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's <gasps> definitely some sort of monitoring station. Yoink. Mine. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? There's a box here with a dial. It oh. has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. Okay, okay. so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Can I put this uh, away, please? Yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you, too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Oh, clear mess. <gasps> what is this? Subject Henry M. Delilah. No way! One week, four, six... Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, on it. No, Are no. Are you shitting me? Well, take that. What? What is it? One week. Four week annual observation traits. Reliable considering alcoholism. Observant, charismatic, selfish. Skewed perception of person personal history is crazy. Pertinent, observe, observe the facts. Never married, no kids. Early hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers, despite long-term, long-time partner named Javier. Oh my God! Susceptibility to manipulation is three. Okay, but what about me? This is her, right? Yeah, that's her. There's a folder of reports here. What did they say? Henry M, age 39, program st status review. Observational traits: comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, passive, guilty, forthright, guarded. Subject overview. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update. Subject may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Acceptability to manipulation. Nine. Supervisor signed off. E.G. What? Assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. I'm leaving. Like what? I'm stuff leaving. I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. They I'm, are. Uh, How stop. do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I didn't want to so leave this area. I feel a little bit safer in the open. Us. We should just burn the place down. Hell no. Uh, think about it. Maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? 
Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? Yeah? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the no, best idea. No, not at all. She just wants to uh, so casually commit arson. Up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. Please don't make me walk all the way. Receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm speed running this shit. Those of you at home watching this, you guys are lucky. You guys are so lucky. You have the luxury of skipping through this video to see me make it back to the damn the lookout. Me, I gotta suffer every anxious second of this. Just going through the woods with this high paced music. It's freaking me out. I don't do I don't do good with horror games, okay? I can't do this. I can't do this. This is the reason why I don't do this. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Whoa. I saw that there's a column of smoke. What do you mean? <gasps> no fucking uh, way. Henry, I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Oh my do you god. See it? Yes, Jesus. I saw it. Okay, yeah, I see I'm leaving. it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We call it in. Call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, what are they get in trouble? Who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. I'm yes, trying. Get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank, God. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I love these cutscenes so much. <laughs> oh my God. Huh. <sighs> No, I don't want to start with this shit. I don't... Can I turn it off? Uh. Okay, guys. This is a really good sobbing point. Um, If you guys enjoyed my suffering and everything that's... Uh, I can't even think right now. This game is freaking me out. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching this series. I've been loving this game until up and up until this point, to be honest. Uh, but I know it is a good game, and the storyline is amazing. The graphics, amazing. I give it a 10, 10 out of 10 all around. So please let me know if you want to see me do any other series. Of course, I'm going to continue with this one. I'm going to finish this one as soon as possible. Don't worry. I, I could probably finish this in like a week, maybe in one sitting. Who knows? But again, thank you, heathens, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.